here is an overall look at my cream shadows and then my eyeliners. So we'll start with my cream shadows, which if you guys have been following me for a while, you know how addicted I am to cream shadows and how this amount is barely anything compared to what I used to have. But um, I still would like to go through them and see if there are any that are dried up or whatnot. So I categorize them by brand. So I have two of these um, bourgeois color edition 24 hour cream to powder eyeshadows and these are both from Jen and these have like a sort of like soft texture. I don't know how exactly to explain them but if you guys know the um, Chanel um, Illusions Dombre, it's a very very similar texture. So this one is called Or Desire and it's just a really pretty gold shimmery shade and I really haven't used these a lot which is really sad um, so I need to use these more and this one is called prune nocturne or something like that and this one is really pretty as well but the thing with these is that they look much better just on their own and I always forget about them so I need to remember these and um, use them because literally I think I've only like swatched them. I don't know if I've ever actually worn them on my eyes. So I need to remember to use those. These are two of the Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes. Both of these are from Sam. Um, this one is shade number 12, this more golden. And this one is shade 13, which is more of a champagne. And I really haven't played a lot with these either. But these are really nice and smooth. This is a gorgeous color for in the summer or if you wanted to do like a fall autumnal look. It's just really, really pretty. But like I said, I haven't played with them a lot. And then number 13 is just a gorgeous everyday color. And this one is so creamy. It's like unbelievable. That one is really, really nice. It's stuck on my hairs on my hand um, but all these so far are really pretty and I can't believe I never really use them so it's good to be reminded about the things that I own and just remember I have so much stuff then I have two of the Calvin Klein um, these are called vintage metal tempting glimmer or this one is called vintage metal and this one is sheer nectar and these are both from Jen and these I need to use more because they're really pretty and they're kind of a drier consistency. So this one is just a gorgeous, like, rusty color. That one is so beautiful. I need to use that way more. And then Sheer Nectar is like a purpley brown color. That one's just a perfect, perfect shade. One that I would use a lot if I would remember that I own these. So those are two. Okay, so the first six that I've shown you, I definitely need to use way more than I have been. Okay, two that you guys know I love are the Chanel um, Illusions Jambre. The black one is called Mirafique. It's a black with silver shimmer, if you can see that. And then Illusoir is my love. It's like a purple glitter amazingness. Mirafique I basically only use as an eyeliner and it makes the most gorgeous gorgeous eyeliner and my friend Ellie gave that one to me which I am so thankful for because it is gorgeous. I can't get over it. It's so pretty. And then Illusoire my friend Jen sent me and it is the most gorgeous eyeshadow you will ever see in your life. It's glittery, but not chunky. It's so smooth. Oh my god, it's amazing. So these would never ever go anywhere. I love them to pieces and yeah, they would stay forever. I have this little Benefit RSVP shadow that my friend Natasha sent me, and these are so creamy. Like, you guys know how much I love Birthday Suit by um, Benefit, 
and uh, RSVP is a gorgeous shade and I need to use this one because I have been working on using up a cream shadow so I haven't really used a lot of these um, but this one is one that I would definitely see myself using up because it's so beautiful the color like the consistency is amazing the color is perfect so love that this is my only MAC Paint Pot, and this is in Constructivist, and this is something else I won from Lorraine the Current Custom, and it's just a beautiful brown color. And again, it's like stuck on my arm hairs, so it looks bad, but on the eye, it's gorgeous and doesn't look nasty like that. Oh, and look at all those pretty shades all together. Gorgeous. And I don't use this one a lot, but the consistency is so, so nice. This is my Seela Smudge Pot in Cobalt, and pretty much the only time I've ever worn this was when I went to Comic-Con and I dressed up as Stitch from Lilo and Stitch, and um, I loved using it, but it's so, so dry, but the color is so, so pretty. Like, look at that. It's so, like, bright and beautiful, and I think it would make an amazing eyeliner, um, so I never want to get rid of it. Um, but I need to, if I don't use this in, like, the next few months, I need to get rid of it because it's just getting really dry, and if I've only used it, like, one time, that's really not great. So, um, I really should wear this as eyeliner, though. It's so pretty. So, I need to remember to use that. Then I have three Maybelline color tattoos. This one is Sleek and Spice, which is very similar to Bad to the Bronze, and you guys know I used to have like all of the color tattoos and then I got rid of so many um so I only have three left so Sleek and Spice is one that I want to use up this year and you guys know I'm working on new complement and look you can see through it so I've hit pan I just hit pan today I'm so excited and this is just a perfect like it's so similar to Sleek and Spice but it's more like cool tone it's really really reminiscent of Benefit Birthday Suit it's almost the exact same color. So I really, really love that. And can't wait till it's used up. And then my all-time favorite color tattoo is Lavish Lavender. And this is just a beautiful, um, like, lavender color. There's no other, like, way to explain it. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, my God. It's so, 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 so beautiful. I love that one. And that's kind of a really heavy layer. Um, but it is so gorgeous. Like... I've made that huge dip and I'm not even trying to use this up, so I love that one. Then I have three, um, like, stick eyeliners. This one, or, um, cream shadows, this one I've went back and forth on a million times. This is the Sephora Jumbo Crayon in Purple Glitter, and I love the way this looks, but I literally never wear it. It's just a purple glitter as you would assume from the name. And it's so pretty, look at that. But I literally never wear it. But I wanna keep it because I think it's fun and I really wanna do, like I really wanna use it and this was a gift from Natasha, so I really, really want to play with that. And then these are two I really love, these are the L'Oreal Infallible Eye Crayons, and this light one is called Enduring Rose, and this darker one is called Impressive Brown. So these are both really, really awesome, and Enduring Rose is just like a champagne color, and then Impressive Brown is like a taupey brown. They're both really awesome and nice and easy to blend and work with and it's just so easy to have them in this format because you can just like slap them on and it's like no trouble so oh man as I like mess up the thing um so I love these and really really recommend them okay moving on to eyeliners so I'm going to scoot you this way I don't have as many eyeliners as I used to have I used to have Oh my god, so many. Um, and I've got rid, rid of a lot, but I would like to be reminded of the colors that I have and um, just make sure that they're not dried up and such. So these are two that I absolutely love. These are the newest ones to my collection. They're the Revlon um, Skinny 
liquid liners and I have this one in electric blue and this one is called green something let's see green spark and electric blue these are the most impressive liquid liners to me in the drugstore so green spark this is kind of a spoiler to a haul video but um this one is brand new to me and let's see if I could do a proper swatch it was just a really pretty green color and I'm trying to use my left hand to draw lines and it's just going to be a disaster and then electric blue is so gorgeous it's like a matte blue liquid liner but it's so, like, it doesn't look chalky or anything. It's insane. It's so gorgeous. I'm in love with it. And obviously those are really messed up lines, but you can make a very thin line or a thick line. I'm just trying to use my not dominant hand to make lines and it's not working. This is an Annabelle liner in Plumbed, which Sam gave me. And this color is so pretty. I'm going to need to get like a little liner brush to make a line of this. Um... But this is my only gel liner, and I love it. Um, look how pretty that color is. So I'm obviously keeping that because it's my only one, and I really, really like the color, and it's still nice and creamy, and it's just really pretty. Okay, this is one I'm trying to use up. This is Urban Decay Rockstar. This color is pretty similar to the Annabelle, but in a pencil format. And as you guys can see, I'm making pretty good progress. And it's in my Finish 5 by Cinco de Mayo. So that's one. And then a very similar color to that is um, called Perma Plum from MAC. It's a PowerPoint eye pencil. And this is one that I want to use up this year as well. Look how similar all those colors are. So I really want to use up the two pencils. And uh, yeah. Okay, then I have this Stila Smudge Stick in Stingray. And this is just a black liner, and I pretty much solely use this to tight line with because it's a very dry texture, um, and it does a nice job at staying, and it's a rich black, but I don't think I would buy this one. I, that was a gift from Sam, but it is nice, and I'm working through that. Then I have my beloved Jessie's Girl Liquid Liner, which you guys know I absolutely love and would never, ever, ever get rid of. So it's just like, oh my god, it's so perfect. I love it. So that is my only black liquid liner. Then I have this really giant Lancome liner. It's called Vatu Lele. Vatu. Vatu Lele. I don't know. That's how I say it. Um, and it's like a light blue turquoise color. I don't know. I bought this online because it was like $2. I don't know what inspired me to get it um but it's nice but it's a very hard texture so i don't really use it a lot but i like having it because i think it's fun this is another um powerpoint eye pencil from mac and this is in gilded white and i don't use this a lot but it's really really pretty i think it might actually be a nice like eyeshadow base it's just like a shimmery satin like brightening color for the inner corner or something um, but I don't really use that a lot. And then I have my Rimmel Scandalize in Nude, which is nice for, um, using in the, like, bottom waterline to brighten your eyes. I don't do that a lot, because for some reason I think it makes me look weird. Um, I just don't always like it, but I do like having it if I want that look, so sometimes I use it. This Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Berry Mary is one that Anna sent me, and it's such a pretty color. I want to compare it to these ones over here. So it's similar to Rockstar, Perma Plum, and the Annabelle, but it is a little brighter. Like, it's more, you can tell it's more purple. So I really love that, and I haven't even played with it since getting her package. So I really want to try that one out. Another one of the Scandalize from Rimmel is called Brown, and they have really inspired names for their eyeliners, and this is just a brown satin liner, and I really, really love it. These Scandal eyeliners are definitely my favorite eyeliner, and they're from the drugstore, which is awesome, so um, definitely like that one. 
Then I have the Urban Decay Perversion, which is a really, really black, black color. Um, I don't really love the Urban Decay formula as much as I used to, and I just want to get through these this year. So um, even though I love that it's super, super black, as you can tell, I just don't really think that these are as awesome as I thought. Then I have Urban Decay Ransom, which is an awesome purple color. It's like a duochrome purple blue. Like, look how cool that is. So um, I really like that, but don't use it a lot, and I want to use it more because it's really, really pretty. Then I have um, two last eyeliners are glitter liners. This is a Sephora eye glitter in silver, and I bought this a few years ago in college because on the Christmas episode of New Girl, Zoe De Chanel was wearing an all silver glitter like eye makeup, like her whole entire lid was just silver glitter. So um, I bought this to look like Jessica Day, and I only use it a few times, and now it's kind of dried up and chunky, but I keep it around because it still works pretty well. And it's just such a sp specific thing that I'm going to keep it until it's all dried up just in case I want to use it. So I know that's kind of weird or something to some people, but I just don't want to have to buy a liquid, like a glitter liner for every single occasion that I want it. I'd rather just keep this one until it all dries up and then buy another one. And then this one is called the Cargo Glitter Top Coat and I don't think it has a color. But this one is like a clear base and then it has like iridescent glitters in it. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see it. So let's put it over one of these eyeliners. Ooh, that really does look cool over the perversion. So I need to use that. I actually haven't even tried it out. Um, so that's really awesome to have it over a black and it looks kind of like a galaxy. So that's really cool. Um, but those were all of my eyeliners and my cream shadows. So this is cool to show you guys like my collections as well of stuff and you guys know I love eye makeup so um that was everything in my eye makeup like collection and um like my drawer of it so I didn't get and get rid of anything in this like episode of um or this type of products but it just really reminded me that I have so many cream shadows that are so, so pretty, and I really want to use them before they go bad, especially those, I have so many that were gifts, and I really want to use those and, like, get a lot of use out of them and enjoy them. So, um, this was really awesome, and I'm really excited again about cream shadows, and I think that once I'm done with my, um, nude compliment color tattoo, wherever it is, is it this one? No. It's this one. Once I'm done with this one, which actually won't be too far away since I've hit pan, which is really exciting, um, I'm going to do another cream eyeshadow challenge where I use a different cream shadow every day. Um, that was really, really fun for me when I did that, and that was after I finished my... Um, my Benefit Birthday Suit cre Creaseless Cream Shadow. So once I finish this other cream shadow, I'm going to do that challenge again. Just get re-inspired, use my eyeshadows before I decide to pan another cream shadow. Because that's the only problem with using up a cream shadow, like focusing on it and using it every day, is that I don't get to use my other cream shadows and then it makes them feel neglected and sad and I feel sad. Um, but it makes me so excited to almost be done with a color tattoo. Like, that is insane. I've seen so many people do that, and um, I just never thought it was possible for me to do it. So I'm really, really excited and proud of myself. But, um, yeah, I've been talking to you guys for so long, and I just wanted to get these videos out there for you. But I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you did, and I will see you all really soon. Bye!